Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to Friday. Congratulations. Welcome to the Steve Malsberg Show from our New York City studios. The one and only Walter Williams joins us momentarily. But, folks, I want to bring to you uh, elements to a commercial that I will actually put together when I return from vacation. And I'm going to be off until after Labor Day, okay, after today. But uh, these elements, these pieces would go, it would be a long commercial, maybe a mini documentary of Hillary Clinton. Yesterday she called Donald Trump a racist, Republicans are racist, their party's racist. Hillary has a racial problem. She has a big problem. If only the media were honest, everybody would know about it. Now a couple of these Donald Trump has tweeted out, but a lot of these I got on my own. Uh, so I'm going to go in no particular order. Watch this. Sorry, Hillary. I was running on CP time. That's not, I don't, I don't like jokes like that, Bill. That's not funny. Cautious politician time. I, I've been there. All right, that was at a, co a, a correspondence dinner in New York City back in April. The mayor of New York and Hillary making a joke about CP time, which a lot of people, a lot of blacks complained about at the time. It refers to colored people time. They asked de Blasio, why were you late? And he said, I'm on CP time. Not nice. Racist in the minds of some, but to the media, shh. And then there's the problem of Robert Byrd. Former majority leader of the Senate for many years from West Virginia, of course a Democrat, and he was a recruiter and a leader and a founder in his community of the KKK. Okay? KKK, okay? And Hillary, well, watch, after he died, watch. Today our country has lost a true American original, my friend and mentor Robert C. Byrd. Senator Byrd was a man of surpassing eloquence and nobility. He was not just its longest serving member, he was its heart, its soul, and its historian. From my first day in the Senate, I sought out his guidance and he was always generous with his time and his wisdom. We will not see his like again. Yeah, she was in love with a, I'm in love with a former KKK recruiter. An organizer. I mean, what is this? How could the media shut up about this? And then Bill, Bill, at, the, at a eulogy for Robert Byrd at the memorial service, actually excused him being in the KKK. Watch. There are a lot of people who wrote these eulogies for Senator Byrd in the newspapers, and I read a bunch of them, and they mentioned that he once had a fleeting association with a Ku Klux Klan, what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. He was a country boy from the hills and hollows of West Virginia. He was trying to get elected. Oh! He was trying to get elected. So he joined the KKK and maybe, I don't know, did he lynch a few blacks? Did he organize people who lynched a few blacks? He had to get elected. Wow. And then there's Hillary's super predator remark not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. We have to bring those black young super predators to heal. Down. I won't even say the next word. You know what it is. But media, shh. And then there was this, put it up on the screen. Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is from January 10, 2010. Bill Clinton told Ted Kennedy that Obama, quote, or semi-quote, would be getting us coffee a few years ago. And the Daily News cited that as the reason why Ted Kennedy would not support Hillary Clinton over Barack Obama. Yeah, you know that guy, he'd be getting our coffee a couple years ago. Too bad it changed. Yeah, but media, shh. And then there's Hillary, who has this ability in front of black audiences to all of a sudden sound like this. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. I'll let that speak for itself. And I don't know, is it 
politically correct to say off the reservation or on the reservation anymore? Hillary did it. I have a lot of experience dealing with men who sometimes get off the reservation and the way they behave and how they speak. Really? Did they smoke them peace pipe with you too? That's a line from a Seinfeld episode. Hey, media, shh. And then there's this. Here's what she said about Martin Luther King Jr. when she was running for president the first time. Dr. King's dream uh, began to be realized when President Lyndon Johnson passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964, when he was able to get through Congress something that uh, uh, President Kennedy was hopeful to do, President uh, before had not even tried, but it took a president to get it done. That dream became a reality. The power of that dream became real in people's lives because we had a president who said, we're going to do it, and actually got it accomplished. Yeah. So Martin Luther King Jr. didn't do anything. He needed a white president to get his dream realized. And Barack Obama said this, put it up on the screen to the Washington Post. After that, uh, Clinton's King comment, ill-advised. Washington Post, January 14th, 2000. And eight. So, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you, what about Hillary's racist problem, huh? Hey, media, at all costs, shh.